for General Electric. Here is Ronald Reagan. Good evening. Tonight, Jack Benny with Zsa Zsa Gabor stars on the General Electric Theater. Few shows embodied 1950s television quite like General Electric Theater. For American viewers, it was a half hour of unique entertainment. Featuring a long list of recognizable guest stars like James Dean. I bet they're just about my age, too. Harry Belafonte and Alan Ladd. For General Electric, it was a platform for self-promotion using television's primest of primetime slots, Sunday night. On the 4th of July, we celebrate the day our country became free and independent. Our independence is guarded by our many citizens in uniform. And it's also guarded by industrial citizens like General Electric. GE's message was overt. Segways, intermissions, openings, and closings. Presented by host Ronald Reagan, who joined the show during its third season as GE's face and mouthpiece. My electric servants do everything. Well, that's part of living better electrically. The show also implanted GE progress reports, casting Don Herbert, as the General Electric Progress Reporter. Yes, this is the testing ground of progress. And I guess you'd expect to find GE here because, as you know, at General Electric, progress is our most important product. Now, back to Alan Ladd in Act Two of Committed. The bulk of the program delivered adaptations of plays, novels, and short stories. Each week, presenting a new plot line with a new set of stars. Who's that? Oh, he's just a piano tuner, Lieutenant. Yes, I'm just a piano tuner, Lieutenant. I heard him. Yes, sir. And even though he was pulling hosting duties, Ronald Reagan found a few occasions to return to acting during the show. Maggie, you're not being fair. She's just a child. A problem child. She's unpleasant, unmannerly, and dishonest. You really hate the child, don't you? In the mid to late 1950s, General Electric Theater became one of the most popular shows on television. But its popularity declined steadily in the years that followed. And in 1962, after making a reference to the Tennessee Valley Administration, one of GE's biggest customers, as a problem of big government, Ronald Reagan was fired as host. The show went off the air that same year. But Reagan was left no worse for wear. He'd spent eight years familiarizing the American people with his charisma, welcomed into the homes of millions across the country, and would go on to pursue a career that would eventually lead him straight into the White House. Until next week, then, good night for General Electric. <laughs>